my hair is being absolute dog shit today so <laughs> hey everybody what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys all of my current favorite things these are not just makeup or beauty related some of them are just random things that I'm like in love with and want to share with you guys so if you want to see what my current favorite things are then go ahead and keep watching so I have like all my favorites just chilling in this empty drawer that I cleaned out. If you guys missed last week's video, I did a clean out of like all expired like foundation and stuff. I'll place it here for you, but that drawer is still empty as fuck. So I'm using it instead of a table because lazy setup is today. I'm going to pick the first two things. They kind of go hand in hand because I bought them together. So I'm going to pick those up first. It is the Bath and Body Works Vampire Blood. This is the body mist and then the body cream. So this isn't like body lotion. It's a more of a cream. So it has shea butter in it. It's thicker. There's a difference. If you know that you know that there is a difference between body lotion and body cream. It's a much thicker, more absorbent, just such a good, oh god, I love body cream. Here we go. Fragrance notes are red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. Plum is like where it's at. I know these are on clearance right now because like Halloween's coming to an end so they're going to want to get their other stuff out. So if you guys want to go check it out, go to the Bath and Body Works website or app or even at your store. They're probably on sale. So the next one is just going to be another set that I got and this is the Comfy Cozy or nope, I'm lying. Cozy Evening. Comfy Cozy is another one that I like and this one again, so good. This one is more of a more mature scent where that one I feel is like kind of sweet and sugary. This one has lavender blooms, fresh freesia, and cozy musk. So that's how you know it's like more of a mature scent. It has musk in it and it's more floral. So if you are looking for like a more adult scent then this is going to be the one for you. This again is the body mist and the 24 hour body cream. What is it actually called? Ultimate hydration body cream with hyaluronic acid. The next thing, don't judge me because the, this girl is old. Okay, I think it came out like two years ago. I've had it for a while and I wash my clothes with my towels. So it has like little fuzz balls all around, but she's clean. This is the Skims Everything Everyone, bro. I don't know. I'll put it across the screen because I honestly don't remember what it's called or if it's even still available. I will check that for you too. But basically it is just this nice, soft, super soft, super stretchy sports bra. It's not padded. I will say there's not a lot of support in here. So if you're looking for like a support situation, this isn't for you, but this is like a super comfy, chill at home lay around situation I have this one and the triangle regular type bra I honestly need to get a new one she was kind of pricey I think she was like 30 or 40 bucks but it's so it is really just the most comfortable bra you can honestly wear but it's stretchy it's comfortable she holds but doesn't like lift like there's no lifting or anything like that but she holds I wouldn't wear this to the gym so the next thing I have is skincare this is the Clarins Paris double serum hydric and liptic system okay this was really popular on tiktok a while ago <laughs> this bottle is like 98 dollars I use it quite often at night this is only one fluid ounce <laughs> so I do one pump and I press it into my skin and it does really do wonders for my skin. What It's a complete age control concentrate. It's very concentrated so you don't need a lot. Would I recommend a normal person buying this? Um, only if you want to splurge because it was very, very expensive. But it is one of my favorite skincare items right now. So the next thing I have is Vanna Cream. This is Gentle Facial Cleanser. When I first found out about this brand, it was a bar of soap? Yes, it was a bar of soap. So it is free of dyes, fragrance, uh, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, and all kinds of other stuff. Um, it's gluten-free. It's for sensitive skin. So this is recommended for people with psoriasis, eczema, stuff like that. So this one I find to be to clean it, but I also don't feel stripped of like any moisture I had left in my skin. And I got this, I think, at Walgreens. So it's not very expensive. I want to say maybe $12. I could be wrong, but it wasn't very expensive and I like it. Um, so this is random, but yeah. So these are my pens. Um, I journal. I journal a lot. I also take notes for like school. Because like I told you guys in my previous video, I have started school. And they are the Pen and Gear Ultra Fine. I think these are, is Pen and Gear Walmart brand? I don't really know. They're the Ultra Fine, like, uh, felt tip, velvet tip. 
I don't know, but this is like a soft thing. And they come in all these colors. These are literally my favorite pens right now, okay? So I am a pen connoisseur. Okay, I'm obsessed with pens. You have no idea how many. If I, I could probably do a video on like my, my pen collection. That's how much of an obsession it is. I journal, and I love journaling in color. I love coloring and drawing lines. I'm real big on line work. So they draw just like the most, oh, chef's kiss line. Okay, just right across the paper. Oh, if you know, you know. The next two things are lip items. This one is the EOS Lip Balm. It is in the stick form though. So EOS has always had like my favorite lip balm honestly but I hated the egg form I hated carrying it in my pocket my jeans are too tight to have just a ball sticking in my pocket and it would always like just I don't know it's so weird I just hated it so it's the same thing it's just in stick form like a regular lip balm and I use them all of the time I've been through so many of them and I will continue to buy them they're a little bit more pricier than a regular lip balm but I like how it feels on my lips and then I have the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping uh, Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. I will tell you that it does make my lips look really nice and it does plump them a little but it doesn't do anything crazy and nothing is getting rid of the lines on my lips. Lines in your lips, they're natural. It is a natural thing to have. The only thing that's going to really get rid of that kind of stuff is if I get filler which I will be doing at some point but not currently so I like it because of how it makes my lips look and how the formula itself feels and like the doe foot. I am literally obsessed with how cute that is. I don't know. I like how it sits on my lips. But she's almost empty, so I'm going to get another one. I don't know the price, but I will put it across the screen. I do know that it's a little bit more pricey than your normal lip gloss because it's the brand Lawless and everything that they create is super expensive for no reason at all. This bath soap carrier, I honestly don't know what it's called. And let me, I got this by accident. So I was at my sister's wedding last month and... One of her bridesmaids had asked me to hold it. It had a it had a soap in it that my cousin, one of my cousins had made, and I used that. The soap is gone. It was actually really good soap. I liked it. I kept this though. So I don't know that that's what it was supposed to be for. I don't remember, but I put my bar of soap in here. I wash it about once a week, but I put my bar of soap in here and I scrub with it. So instead of like on a washcloth or wrapped in a washcloth I put it in this bag and I close it and literally it exfoliates and it scrubs so the soap can go through because it's holy so anyway so one of the bridesmaids told me to put it in my bag and hold it for her and I dipped out not on purpose I did not steal this I dipped out went home and didn't see it until like I think it was like a couple of days later so and she said I could have it but I love it and I need to find out if you're watching Gabrielle where'd you get these at I need to know I love it I don't know if I'm supposed to use it like that if anyone knows let me know down below but it it held soap and I said you know it'd be really great because it's like cloth so I feel like I don't know I exfoliate with it I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not it's probably just supposed to hold my soap I'm not supposed to bathe with it but it washes it washes nicely like, I've used this and it like look at this it washes very nicely so the next thing I have is the Corel Ultra Healing Intensive Lotion. This is a hand lotion slash body lotion and I use it on my face. Okay. So <laughs> with my eczema, this is literally the only lotion that has ever made my skin soft, hydrated, and not flaky or feel gross for longer than a week. Like I can get a new moisturizer and it'll feel real good and then like a week later... I'm breaking out. I'm not breaking out, but I'm flaring up. I'm itchy. I'm flaky again. This is the only thing that works. And then I put that on with my Eucrista in the daytime. So I have two eye masks here that I did not pay for as well. They were given to me. This one is the Magic Eye Rescue by Charlotte Tilbury. I wear this during the day. I really, really love this one and just a little bit goes a long way. These are very, this one's very expensive. So eye cream to help brighten and reduce the appearance of wrinkles. And that's what it says it does. It actually does really hydrate my eyes. Uh, it, 
my eyes are actually one of the spots on my face that I suffer with my eczema the most. So doing something like this in the morning, it's really nice. It's fragrance free and I really enjoy it. But again, a little bit goes a long way. And this is expensive. It's expensive, but it's my favorite. Okay, some of these things are pricey and I'm sorry. So the one, the eye cream that I use during the day, I use eye creams night and day. It does not matter how minimal my skincare routine is. I 100% stand by the fact that you should be using eye cream all of the time because wrinkles and dryness and puffiness are everyone's enemy. So this is the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright and Eye Cream and I literally just put little dabs right here and because of that like orangey, do you see that orangey yellow hue? It actually does brighten the under eye just a little. It's not like a color corrector. You shouldn't be caking it on, but it just gives it like more of a glow to your under eye. I don't suffer too bad with under eye darkness, but I do have a little bit of pigment discoloration. So I like to use that. And then <laughs> these. This is actually, this is part of the favorites video. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop one because I have an addiction. <laughs> So these are the Halls Minis. I don't know if anyone else has found these and completely fallen in love with them, but I have. They are, I'm about to take that out of my mouth, literally just the size of a bead. And I carry them with me everywhere. I have an addiction to cough drops. Uh, just something I do have. I eat them all the time. I don't know that I should, but I do. And I get them from like CVS, Walgreens, Target. I, I have a lot of these in my drawer they're like mints to me but they're tiny so i like them. the next thing is this i'm not gonna do that my hair already looks like shit we're not doing that it's a scalp scrub you don't have a scalp scrub you need a scalp scrub it's really good i just put my soap on my head and i just go to town i do have eczema on my scalp so it helps as well when i use this to really just break up any of that and just like chemicals and products that you use all of the time just sit on your scalp and like naturally cake up i know that sounds disgusting cake up probably build up build up is probably the word i'm looking for build up okay does that sound better build up so it helps just kind of get that get that up and it also provides stimulation that's supposed to help hair growth but i couldn't tell you if it helps with that because my hair grows like nobody's business so it's not a it's not an issue i have my hair literally i could cut it and it will grow back a week later i was sent these in pr probably a couple months ago i never showed you guys because i really wasn't active on youtube at the time the brand is called patchology is that what it's patchology and this is called serve chilled on ice i think that's just what it's called these are firming eye gels and they're cold they give you this like super cold feeling i like to do them in the morning you can do them at night if you would like but i do them in the morning because it reduces the puffiness of my eyes i don't have a lot of dark under eye but I do get puffiness in the morning so these help a lot I also got the face the sheet mask um, I don't really care for sheet masks that much anymore I don't know why I just stop using them but eye patch it or eye mask I love these these are amazing and they sent me two or three boxes of these so I really enjoy them a lot so the next thing I have is the Olaplex intensive bond building hair treatment I really really enjoy this product I put it on my dry hair brush it through and let it sit for 10 minutes and I really really enjoy it. It helps like prime your hair for anything you're about to style it with. It helps repair your hair, strengthens and protects for all hair types. I don't think that it is for a specific hair type. I would say that this is something that can be used for all hair types and I have super thick hair so like I go through it fast. So that's the only thing I don't like is you have to like saturate your hair and I have long thick hair so these if you have long thick hair you're gonna buy you're probably gonna be buying them often but I don't do this every day like every time I wash my hair I don't do it so but I also only wash my hair like two times a week I know some people are gonna judge me other people will understand if you guys want to see like an updated hair like products hair routine anything like me telling you guys these are my products this is what I use it for kind of situation because I straighten or leave my hair naturally curly it just depends on the day and what I'm doing so if you guys want a video on like that where I tell you what I use what I love then go ahead and comment down below and I will get that up for you a lot of things have changed since I've been gone like for my skincare hair care beauty all of that like 
just not, I'm not the same person when it comes to those categories anymore. So I still love my things, right? My makeup, my, my love for beauty, skincare and all of that, but it's definitely changed. The last item that I have, I actually also saw on TikTok and got it and I really, really enjoy it. So this is kind of like a feminine wash and I'm going to stop before you start to judge or start to type your comment. It's not St. Ives or Eves or whatever. I don't use any of that. This does not go in to your body, just so I'm clear on this video. You do not internally wash your kitty cat with anything but water, okay? Clean around, uh, under and around. You know what I'm saying? I have to watch what I say because I don't want to be flagged. However, I was looking for like a feminine wash down there because the problem is I have very sensitive skin. And one of the major places I have that sensitive skin is downstairs, okay? Um, and if you don't have never dealt with that, good fucking for you, okay? So I needed something that was going to cleanse. I have to, I, I got, I get that people are like, you should only wash it with hot water. I don't feel comfortable doing that. And that's okay. That's my choice. It's my body. I get to choose that. If you only want to wash your kitty cat with hot water, by all means, do what makes you happy. It does not make me happy. But I also don't wanna use bar soap. I don't care if it's unscented or whatever. It's just not, they're still processed items. So I was looking for something a little bit more natural and organic to wash downstairs, is what I'm saying. And not irritate or throw my pH off or anything like that. And I found her on TikTok. I don't know the girl's name, but thank you. This is the VH Essentials. I found it, I bought it on Amazon. That's where she bought it, that's where I bought it. It is a VH Essentials Tea Tree Oil and Prebiotic Daily Feminine Wash. Odor Eliminating Formula, VH Micro Balance. This is infused with tea tree oil, prebiotics, cranberry, natural extracts, and more to complete female health. So it's just a little bit more of a natural cleanser, if you will. It's made specifically for down there. It's not a scented, fragrance-filled, chemically created crap like St. Eve's Ives, whatever the hell it's called. It has a tea tree oil scent, which is normal because it has tea tree oil in it. So if you do have a sensitivity, I found that out. Some people do have a sensitivity to tea tree oil. Like I can't use tea tree oil on my face. I have a sensitivity to it, um, but I've had no issues down, down south with it. I highly enjoy it. Um, if you do wind up buying or checking this out, do your research first. Just make sure nothing in here irritates you. And again, I cannot emphasize this enough. Please do not wash internally with this body, with this soap. $9.99. It's a little bit pricey because like most body washes are not that expensive. Actually, I'm lying. I think like Dove is right around the same. So, and you don't need a lot, right? You don't need to be like spraying half the bottle down there. You just need just a little bit. A little washcloth. And then you're out. And you're out. And let me know what you think. If you've used this before, comment down below and tell me what are your thoughts. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my favorites video. I'm so glad. I cannot say this enough. I cannot express this enough. How awesome and excited and happy and every other word like that to be back on YouTube and filming for you guys. If you missed my last video, go over and check it out. I did pin it in the front of this video. So let me know if you guys have any of these, if you've tried any of them, what are your thoughts? What videos are you looking for me to create for you guys? What content do you want to see? I have so much different stuff coming out because like I am essentially a beauty channel, but like... <laughs> I'm gonna try to put some fun stuff on here too. I don't know yet. Comment below and just let me know what kind of content you guys are interested in seeing and I will produce it for you. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Please subscribe before you leave if you're not already. If you are already subscribed, I love you and appreciate you so much and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!